Hello there, sword friends. This is going to be a quick sword log vlog vlog, and you might notice there's a bit of a change in my video format. The reason for that is I got some subscriber feedback that said, hey, uh, your video is sucky, and your webcam is terrible, and it would be less distracting if you could suck less at that. So I picked up a new Nikon camera body. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Let me know if this is an improvement or not, because it is uh, vastly less comfortable to record in. Can't see what I'm doing, have to figure it out. It's taken me, needless to say, a few tries to figure out how to get this far. So hopefully it is a better and a significant improvement. Let me know what you think and and I'll move on from that. So uh, this sort of log vlog blog is more impromptu to test out this video format primarily, but I do have some other things to talk about. The first and foremost is I have 1,400 subscribers. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. I did not expect this channel to get 100 subscribers, and if you look at the content that I make, I talk about swords as a product and if you should buy them or not. And a lot of times, people that buy swords think of them as a tool to practice martial arts, to have fun in their backyard, to uh, prep for whatever, but a lot of times people only buy one sword and they're done with it, and they don't really want to hear about every sword that comes out or is out or that type of thing. Uh, they're not interested in projects, they're not interested in more, they just kind of stumble upon this channel because they're looking at buying this particular product. And for those folks, that's really who I'm targeting. Is it worth your hard-earned money to, to buy this particular product? And I'm hoping that I help with that. I think that's where I can add most of the conversation. But folks have asked me to talk and vlog a little bit more about uh, practicing martial arts and, and what that's like and how to incorporate that in your daily life. Uh, they've asked about other hobbies that I have, like you know, making beer or uh, other things, maybe, for example, like playing video games. I do all of those things, but I think there are people that make significantly better content than I would if I made, if I made videos about those things. I mean, I'm happy to share them with you, but I can't say that they're going to be that interesting. And that's really why I focus more on what I think I can add most to the conversation, and that's swords from a, a product standpoint. Is it worth your money? Uh, and I review them, I don't always cut with them, I don't always show them for their intended purpose, but I do look over them with a somewhat picky eye, and hopefully that is helpful. Anyway, if you want to hear more about other shit going on in my life, I can't promise that my day is going to be more interesting than trying to figure out why my belly button lint is a different color than the shirt I'm wearing, but I'm happy to share it with you, it's just I don't know that anyone is interested. I've had a few people reach out, but if you have interest in hearing more of these kind of rambling, sword loggy vloggy blog things, let me know. They are a lot easier to produce than some of the videos, but, I mean, honestly, the videos about sword reviews are a labor of love. I do make money uh, doing the sword reviews that are monetized, and I get paid for it, but I've so far made $100 from the YouTube videos that I made. If you figure the hours that go into them, uh, the cost of the materials to cut, even the newspapers, uh, if you figure in the cost of breaking a sword, if you figure in all of that, uh, I certainly... <laughs> I certainly am not paying for the fancy camera that I'm recording this on. Uh, but it is a labor of love. I find enjoyment in making the videos and sharing them and, and hopefully helping people not waste their money on things or make a choice that they're, they're happy with. And so hopefully that is reflected, but it is, it is a labor of love. Every now and again, I get something for free. Uh, Ronin Katana is really the only place that has ever sent me anything for free. And on the videos where I'm reviewing a sword, that I got for free. I try to make it very evident and clear that I did receive the product for free. Uh, but other than that, I've reached out to folks. Folks have asked me, review this sort or that sort. It costs a lot of money to do that. And I've reached out to companies and frankly, they're not interested in sending them to me. And I can't blame them because my channel is very, very small. So uh, if you have any interest and want me to review something, you are welcome to send it to me and I'm happy to break it or not break it or take photos of it. In fact, that might be a better point. There has been a few uh, posts on Facebook lately of Smith that say, hey, I'm great at making stuff, but I suck at taking photos. An open offer to anyone that is making stuff and wants photos, I think I'd take an okay photo, certainly not at a professional level, but a decent photo. If you can send the thing to me and help it send, send, me back it, uh, send it back to you, happy to take photos for free for you. Uh, that's to anyone that makes sharp, pointy, shiny things. It's a good chance for me to look at them. I don't necessarily have to review them, but if you want me to take pretty pictures for you, Happy to do so. Anyway, uh, other things that are going on, I'm reviewing a Prismic sword right now. That's this beautiful piece right here. I'm working on a video for it at the present, 
hopefully you, well, I posted some photos to Facebook already and you might have already seen them. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this sword and I will share my thoughts on it a little bit more later. But just to see if the autofocus lens is working, let's see how it does. Uh, it's super irritating the camera. This whir, 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 whir. daughter's piano lesson is starting now. I don't really have much else to share. This is all I've got for you. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any suggestions, comments, let me know in the in the stuff below. I might not take you up on all of your feedback, like making top five lists or this or that. I'm wrapping my head around how to do some of that content, but rest assured the feedback that I've gotten from subscribers I found very meaningful and helpful to the channel. So if you have any of that, please, please let me know what it is. Uh, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot else for you. Let me know what you think of the new video setup. Hopefully it's better. And that's that's all I got. As always, cheers and thanks for watching. This is a test of video. We'll see how the video is doing. Trying to capture video is a matter of finding the right lens and figuring out how to use your camera. So far, I have not done either of those things. Hello there, sword friends. Hello there, sword friends. I don't know if this is actually working very well or not. Hello there, sword friends. I'm not great with words right now, but in a nutshell, I am trying to get this camera to work and cooperate with me, and I am not prepared for this. Hello there, sword friends. This is going to be a vlog vlog sword. Damn it! I got some subscriber. Check out this spatula. It's a spatula. See all that? Ooh. Spatula. See the fine details of the spatula? It's amazing. Spatula. See this part? Well, I burned it a couple times. See how the hand is all messed up? It's good to make a fucking place. You just don't know how to play, that's all. You just don't understand.